It came with an extra little, what do you call that thing? Like a, like a, um. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. Hey, this is Amir. This is Diana. And you're watching Vegan Tuesday. Welcome back to our channel. If you're interested in vegan food and vegan food reviews and all other vegan things, you're in the right place. Sit back, relax, grab yourself some soup and enjoy this episode. We have new episodes every Sunday. Today, it's a special one, isn't it? Yes, look where we are. Where are we? Los Angeles. This is the first episode of the many we're gonna have for you from Los Angeles. So make sure to press that subscribe button so you won't miss any of the episodes. Let's stop wasting a good folks time. Where are we at today? Today we had our first sit down meal in LA at Real Food Daily in West Hollywood. What's this place about? It's vegan. Every restaurant that we're going to review on this trip is 100% vegan. And this place has Western food, a lot of comfort food. What kind of neighborhood is it in? West Hollywood has a lot of shops, a lot of restaurants. From Real Food Daily, we ended up walking along Melrose. So a lot of shopping along Melrose. Interior, what's this place like? This place has a patio that was pretty big. And they also had indoor seating that I thought was also pretty big. We got to sit at a larger table. It wasn't busy when we went on a weekday late in the afternoon. I started with the miso soup. What did you get for your meal? I got the comfort bowl. And I got the club. Let's get into it. The miso soup, what did you think? One thing I like about everything we tried, everything tasted very homey. Yeah, I agree. The soup was really good. It had lots of fresh ingredients. It wasn't just tofu and seaweed. They added a lot of other vegetables in it. It made it a little bit heartier. I really liked it. I would order it again. One, One two, two, three. Let's talk about the club. Sure. The club was pretty good. It had seitan, it had lettuce, tomatoes, vegan eggs. Did you have pickles? I don't think it had pickles. No, it, it also had tempeh. Yeah, Remember? that's right, that's right. It had, it had tempeh as bacon. I thought it was really good. Another thing I liked a lot about this place was the dishes were all super big. So you definitely gonna walk away full as heck, which is always one of my pet peeves. When you go to a restaurant and then you walk away hungry. Very good. It was a triple decker club, so it was very filling. And the seitan, they didn't skimp out on that. It was like really thick Huge. cuts of yeah. seitan. And you could also choose a side salad, fries, or onion rings. And Amir chose onion rings. One, One two, two, three. Oh, I give it a four. How come you give it a four? It's too big to eat. That's it was complaint. like this big. I couldn't fit my mouth. Like it was impossible to put my mouth on the sandwich properly. Well, your mouth is tiny. I guess. Also, you could always get it to go home. What do you think? Not just the quantity, but like it was so tall. I could not put my mouth on this thing. It was meant for big boy, bad boys like me. Yes. Well, let's talk about your comfort bowl. What do you think? Well, it had mashed potatoes, so that sold me right away. Mashed potatoes and gravy with seitan. Um, it had garlic kale, some carrots and green beans, and some mushrooms. It came with an extra side of gravy. I could have used like two more of those gravy what? bowls. I love just drowning everything in gravy. Delicious. Seitan was flavored, so it wasn't like just plain boring seitan. The mushrooms were flavored. The kale was nice and garlicky. I could see garlic bits in it. The carrots and the beans were fine, whatever. And I like the mashed potatoes. So everything was great about the dish. What do you think of my dish? I quite liked it as well. It was very hearty again. It was full of all these different kinds of vegetables. And like you said, the seitan was nicely flavored. 
and the gravy was nice on the mashed potatoes and it's hard to come up, come about a good vegan mashed potato i feel i don't know but i just love mashed potatoes but this was a really good version and again it tasted very homemade so it felt very healthy you don't feel heavy and dirty afterwards like you had something unhealthy Deep fried yes or greasy right yeah exactly I, it was really nice i enjoyed it one two three <gasps> I give it a five again. How can we give it a five? I again? need more gravy. There was so much. Oh gravy. no 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 no! Why didn't you ask no, for no. extra gravy? Because you probably would have had to pay. But oh my god, I could use two more of those gravy things. Amir, would you go back to a real food daily? You know, LA has a lot of vegan restaurants. A lot. We couldn't even fit half of them in our programming for this trip. Uh, that being said. There are a lot of options and even so yes i would definitely go back i thought it was really good what do you think yeah i mean this was our first meal really of the trip and there's so many more to go i like it because the serving size was large we were both full they have quite a large menu they also have a happy hour so that's cool and there was a lot of seating I didn't have to wait, so all great things. I would go back. I'm sure there are, like Amir said, so many vegan places in LA that are great, but I think this one's a solid place as a vegan to go to. Anyways, that's what we think. You guys go try it out yourself. And as always, make sure you let us know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed this episode and you like the kind of videos we do, go ahead. Press that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up. And ring that bell so you won't miss any episodes. You're gonna have a whole bunch of other episodes from LA. You're gonna have some special guests and you don't wanna miss any of them. Trust me. Take a look at this video on Diana's face. It's one of the episodes when we're in Las Vegas. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching.